Hi, and welcome to Around Town. I'm excited. I'm going to get you excited because it's that time of year, even though I'm standing here in a jacket still. Chris is bearing a little bit of chill that we have in the weather. It's time for the Wilmington Blue Rocks to take to the field, Chris. You've got to be excited. A great season coming up. Uh, we think it will be, Tim. This is always a real exciting time for us, uh, preparing for the start of the season. We're only about uh, three weeks away. A lot of planning, a lot of preparing, a lot of great promotions. Uh, so it's uh, shaping up to be a great year. Yeah, of course. And when you're talking about uh, planning, it's all about with you. I mean, we got the baseball team, but with you, it's entertainment within the stadium. I mean, and, you know, the team entertains in itself, but you've got a lot of kids that you want to entertain and everything else. It's a family event when you come down here. Uh, absolutely. We would we like to think that we can take somebody who despises the game of baseball. They can come to a Blue Rocks team and have a great time just because of all the other ancillary type of uh, events and promotions and things that we're doing. Uh, in addition to uh, in addition to a baseball game. Yeah, when you're talking about that, you know, of course, everybody's familiar with the fireworks because we have those coming this year and everything else. Opening day, let's talk about that. When is that? Uh, opening day here is Friday, April 17th. April 17th. Now, on that opening day, you know, the, you, you're going to have a lot of excitement going on, of course, because that's when uh, Mr. Blue Rock himself comes out. Uh, 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 Bull, Blue Winkle, I guess. Is, Rocky Blue Winkle. Yeah, he'll be here, Mr. Celery. Uh, opening day is, is always a real special day uh, for us uh, to start of the season. Uh, you know, only one of 70 games, but it always is just a little bit more special because it's the first one of the year. Yeah, and when you're talking about that, I mean, get your tickets, uh, and you want to get them now because I'm telling you, opening day is hard to get into because it sells out each and every year, so you definitely want to get your tickets to be here for opening day. But let's talk about, you know, the, the price-wise, there's not a better venue for family entertainment out there, I don't think, as far as bringing the family out for a great, you know, four hours worth of uh, good time. Yeah, I I. I don't think there is. I'd be hard pressed to find. Uh, I mean, we sell our tickets for as little as uh, six dollars for adults, four dollars for kids. Um, you know, hot dog sodas, all very inexpensive. So, for a family of four to come to a Blue Rocks game and buy tickets and uh, hot dogs and sodas and popcorn, uh, it's under fifty dollars. So, uh, it, it's it's a great value. We don't charge the park. Uh, plus, we know we have all kinds of giveaways. You could come out on a night when we have fireworks. So it's just a great, affordable family uh, venue. Yeah, when you, and when you're talking about that, I, it's, it's important to remind you there's so many things that are going on. You know, we talk about Mr. Celery, Rocky Blue Winkle, and everything. But you always, you know, I, I love watching the kind of the shows in between innings. I mean, you guys have a lot of fun with, with the crowd. I mean, and, and, and that's your job. Be sure you're entertaining. That. A baseball team is supposed to enjoy the enjoyment in itself. But in between innings, you guys do a lot of things there for the kids. Uh, we do. Uh, kids are a big part of uh, the group that we cater to. Uh, they come out here. They have a lot of fun. Uh, and, again, it's, it's just a, a three hours of baseball, entertainment, uh, food, uh, value. Uh, and it's, it's just a terrific uh, outing for a family. Yeah, and when you're talking about that, one of the ways you might want to look at it, folks, I mean, Chris, Chris gave you the, the t price for individual tickets and everything else. Great, great package deals, though. You guys have some great package deals out there to offer for that family so you can enjoy it year-round. Uh, we do. We sell all kinds of mini plans and game plans. And, uh, uh, you know, for, for the family or for the person who doesn't want to buy a full-season ticket holder, we have you know, six game plans, eight game plans, uh, plans to uh, ticket plans just for our fireworks. Uh, you know, group outings, birthday parties, picnic events. So it's a whole venue uh, of, of tickets and, and food and affordability. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I want to hit that corporate people out there, too, and talk to them just for a couple of seconds here because season passes, I mean, when you get to, and you get some seats for the season, there's nothing better than, you know, when you're out there and you're chit-chatting with the different vendors that you do business with and everything else than saying, hey, here's here's some four tickets to, you know, we do, we do that, and here's four tickets. Take your family out to the ball game. I mean, they really get a kick out of that. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, – Probably the most important thing we do here is sell tickets. So we, we package tickets. Uh, we sell all kinds of uh, group tickets, individual tickets. Uh, so that's what we want to hear. That's what we, you know, we want people coming, uh, people buying tickets. If they can't use them for themselves, they use them for, um, you know, to, to give to clients, to employees, friends. Uh, whatever way they can use them. Yeah, it's just a great way to, uh, like I said, there's not a better way to f have some family entertainment than coming right here. To, uh, I, I'm going to be sure I get that. I always mess it up. Judy Johnson Field at, at, at uh, Dan Farley Stadium uh, to watch the Wilmington Blue Rocks. I get all that? Uh, you're about 90% of the way there. <laughs> yeah, because I'm telling you, you got so much of it. I mean, it, it's unbelievable. But, you know, you got to be tickled to death. We're talking on the way over here, Kevin and I. 17 years ago, you were a young man and came came to town here and started doing this. 
defense and then working with the stadium and everything. In 17 years, one of the most successful, if not the most successful at this, this level, stadiums in the country. Well, uh, thank you. It's uh, been 17 terrific years. I would never, no, would never thought I would be here for that long, but it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we have a great time doing what we do, and uh, we, we love entertaining people. Yeah, it's hard to believe the, the Wilmington Blue Rock's been taking the field again for 17 years here in Wilmington. You don't want to miss it this year. Opening day, once again, April the 17th, am I correct there? Correct, Friday, April 17th. Yeah, you don't want to miss that. It, it, get your tickets now because, like I said, everybody enjoys coming out for opening day. I don't know if anybody out there that doesn't, doesn't want to be here for opening day. And be sure and check into the different packages you have. If you've got a family of five, six, whatever, they've got ticket and seating packages that will fit your accommodations. If you want to buy for the season, if you want to buy for six games, just the firework games, eight games, whatever the case might be. That's what Chris does is he sets up the packages to meet your needs. So, Chris, I want to thank you so much and lots of luck this year, and we'll be out here covering on a regular basis. All right, Tim, I'm going to see you out here this year. I know I am. All right. You know that. I, I, I want to see you out here, too. So come on out and join us here at the Wilmington Blue Rocks once again at Judy Johnson Field. It's an access to it. I, I was coming in today. I mean, it's changed a little bit. It's so much easier to get in now. I mean, I want to mention that a little bit. Yeah, I know that the infrastructure down here has definitely improved, and uh, there's couple more ways to get in, get in here now a little bit easier so it's uh I mean, this whole area has really developed, you know, since uh, you talked about 17 years ago when we first started here. Coming down here, uh, Madison Street was a dirt road. You know, yeah. now look at it. So. Yeah, and there's so many other things because we want to mention that when you're coming down. I mean, you can bring it for a day down here, not just for, you know, the Wilmington Blue Rocks, but there's so many other things here at the riverfront. you got restaurants all over the place. Chris says save your money until you get to the ballpark and buy the hot dogs. But there's so many different things when you come down here. So a family could come down here, do some th shopping, whatever the case might be, and then come over to the ball game. I mean, there's a lot going on down here at the riverfront yeah there's no there's, there's no question since uh since we got here uh all kinds of development and it's uh it's exciting down here, and we're glad that we're part of it. Yeah, this was the only thing here when the race came down here. I remember that, too. So, Chris, thank you so much. Lots of luck on this season. Definitely come out. Once again, April 17th, the season gets underway. Check in on, on the, before we leave, one more thing, website, because you can get all the information you want, what games and everything else. Absolutely. It's uh, bluerocks.com, uh, ticket number 302-888-BLUE. Uh, yeah, that's uh, so simple. And so pick up the phone, give them a call, or go to the website, check it all out, and stay tuned because we're going to show you some more of the Wilmington Blue Rocks. Thank you.